We have seen already how to write emails or compose emails. Now let's see how we can read our emails. To read an email, we need to be signed in to our inbox first. Since my service provider is Gmail, how I access this inbox is first by going to Gmail. Let me show you how to do that. Simply open a browser window and type in gmail.com and press the enter key and it will give you a form to fill in. Basically, all I need to do is type in my email ID, click next, type in my password and it will sign me in. Once I'm signed in, this is how the home page looks. Right now, I'm in my inbox because I know that because the word inbox is highlighted in red. The font color is red and also have a red mark here next to inbox. I'm in my inbox. To demonstrate the uses of all the various folders here, first let me send a few emails. I'm logged into a different email ID here in this tab and let me compose a few mails. Let me send the first mail. That's the email ID. And if I send it to this email ID, the mail should come into this inbox. So let me send the first mail. The subject test mail one and I say test mail one body. So I'm keeping it very simple. I will send multiple emails. I send my first mail. Let me send, I get a confirmation box saying it has been sent. Let me click again and let me send the second mail. It's to the same person. Let me redo that quickly for the third mail. And the last mail, which is the fourth mail. So I have sent four emails to one person for this demo. And there is a reason for that. And let's quickly look at how the other side of receiving the email looks. So I've sent four emails from this inbox, from this email ID to the other email ID, which is accessed here. So first of all, let's take a look at how the sent mail folder looks here. All the emails that you send from your email ID is stored in the sent mail folder. Right now I'm in the inbox, so I can't see sent mails, to see the sent mails, I click on sent mail and I notice that I have sent one, two, three, four. These are the emails that I sent out just now. And we can see that by looking at the timestamp here, 206 to 207, that those are the four emails that I sent just now. There is another email I sent about a couple of hours ago, but these four are important for this demonstration. How did I access it? By clicking on the sent mail folder. Let me go back. Let me go to the other tab here and see those four emails. Already I see in the status, already I see in the name of the tab, it says four in the bracket. So I must have received four emails. And yes, I have received four emails. These are the ones I just sent to myself. 1406, 1407 just about a couple of minutes ago. Now, by looking at an email, I can determine whether it is already been read or not. For example, none of these are read because they appear in bold. So let me demonstrate that for you. Let me open the first email. It gives me the details. Tal IT Karnataka has sent me an email. This is the body of the email and this is the subject of the email or in the top and I'm done reading. Let me go back by clicking the back to inbox button 
and you notice that this is a male that has been read and these are males that have not been read and that helps me keep a track of which one I should read next. So that's one important thing that I need to notice. Let's say that I read this email and I thought, oh, this is an important email. I need to keep a track of it. It's easy to keep a track when there are only four emails in your inbox. But imagine there are hundreds and hundreds of emails in this inbox, but I need to mark something as important. I can do that by using the star option here. So I click on that and then it becomes starred. So how do I access all my starred emails for that? There is this folder called starred. All I have to do is instead, instead of inbox, go to starred and I notice that there is one starred email here. So we have seen what inbox does. We have seen what starred does. We have also seen what sent mail does. And let's look at a few others. And the few others mainly are bin or sometimes even called trash. What is the use of a bin or a trash? Let's go back to inbox. Let me read the second email. I decide, let's say after reading this email, that this is not an important email. I want to delete this mail. How can I delete this mail? I can choose this delete button right here. And I click on it and I am back in my inbox and I notice that test mail 2 is gone. It's gone to my trash or bin. 1, 3 and 4 are here. I've already read 1 and I've starred it as well. How do I access the mail that I just deleted? It says here the conversation has been moved to the bin. How do I access bin? All the folders are not listed here. To see the list of all the folders, I click on more and I notice that there are more folders listed here and the last one there is bin. I click on bin and here I have the test mail 2. That's the mail that I deleted just now from my inbox. If I want to move it back to my inbox, I can take it back to my inbox. But if I leave it here in this folder, it will automatically be deleted after 30 days. It will remain here in this folder for 30 days. After 30 days, it will be permanently deleted and I can't do anything about it. How do I move it back to my inbox? I can do that by putting a check mark there. Now notice the change in these buttons. Right now I have a check box, I have a refresh and a more. But if I put a check mark here, I get more options. I get a delete forever option. I also get this folder option move to and I can say move to inbox and that would have moved back to inbox. Let's go check that back in my inbox and the test mail 2 which I had deleted perhaps by mistake is back because I went to the bin and restored it. Let's take another look at the bin folder. When I'm in my bin folder and I want to delete something permanently. I can put a check mark here and click on the delete forever button and that conversation has been deleted permanently. I can't bring it back. That's not a good idea. A better idea would be to just let it be there for 30 days and if I need it, I can always bring it back. So let's quickly look at all the folders. Let me start another email before doing that. Email number three. I read this email. I thought this is important. So I go back and I put another star on this. So there are two emails, email one, email three, which are starred. This one is unread and all the three are read. So let's take a quick look at all the folders. Inbox, basically all my emails mostly land here in my inbox. So I click on inbox and I access all the emails. Starred will only give me emails that I've marked as important using the star icon. In my case, mail one and three. Sent mail, like we saw here, sent mail has a list of all the sent, all the emails that I have sent using this email ID. Drafts, 
drafts will contain emails which are incomplete and not yet sent uh, let's say i'm working on an email and i want to send it but i haven't completely written everything i'm supposed to in those cases it will remain in my drafts till i send it the other important folders are bin and spam spam mostly contains email that emails that were unsolicited uh, sometimes you may have to check your spam folder because some important email actually sent by somebody important sometimes lands up in spam so it's a good option to go check the spam folder every now and then but the bin folder is important because that's the trash folder that's your recycle bin of the email so in this video we have seen the various different folders and how the various emails land up in different folders.